about to watch could have ended way different than what it did. I'm George Lambert with Mountain Music and Mules. And I'm Easton Lambert with Mountain Music and Mules. I'm so glad God was with Daddy. It could have been so much worse. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification. Get out, let these dogs out, stretch your legs a minute, and get some collars on, and hopefully find a spare here in a little while. What are y'all doing? Y'all ready to roll, bud? Y'all ready to roll? Well, we are, <coughs> we got the dogs on top, and uh, Uncle's heading out in front of me. Hopefully, it's a nice cool morning this morning, but hopefully we'll find a bear here in a little bit. I got the dogs on top, and we'll head around here. Uh, Uncle's in front of me, and uh, I spoke with another guy that's hunting this area today, and uh, he's a good ways in front of me. Kind of got an idea where each of us is going, even though this is bear hunting, you never know where you might end up, but... Um, Whatever the case, we're going to go try and find a spare. Well, we just struck one. just come from and I mean it's some terrible cliffs I made a turn and uh, really we don't we don't know where this bear just went um, he done crossed these tracks a few times and circled in here uh, and I mean it's bad cliff country to what they're in so I don't know really ain't sure yet kind of a typical high low thing of hound hunting for bear uh, the track was a good track the bear had come up over some cliffs, come out across the road. We put dogs on it. Uh, he made just a four or five hundred yard lap, went back across the road up to where the cliffs are, up to where back into the cliffs, and he crossed over his track and threw every dog, got all messed up. And uh, a lot of them ended up just coming out of there back on the original track. So, um, Long, long story short, they just made a big old circle. We're gonna go back to where we know he crossed the road the second time and just drop another older dog or two on back on the track and see if they'll make it through there this time. Uh, don't know. We'll we just stopped and put two old dogs back on that track. And Still working. Uh, yes, sir. You don't reckon he made that loop and come back across the same track again, do you? I 
mean, he could have, but something's, something's weird, you know, because Trixie is definitely just trailing. I mean, she should be running when she hits the road. Uh, we put two old dogs back on that track, trying to figure it out, and they trailed back into the cliffs, went up, and just made that lap again. So we're heading back out where we originally turned them loose. So I'm not sure exactly where. Somewhere they've missed where the bear made a sharp cut or something. But anyway, they're almost back through the cliffs. And if they don't figure it out in the next two, 300 yards, then they're going to be back in the road where we originally turned them loose. So. All right. Well, I forgot to even have the camera out, but uh, dogs have come back out. They they cannot, we done made them, let them make this lap um, two times, hoping they would figure where the bear left the circle. And uh, all, they're, all they're doing is making a big, just a big loop, kind of like a, a racetrack type deal. I mean, just going around and around. Don't know where the bear left, so anyway. So I'm gonna grab these two dogs and then I think you go try to find another track somewhere. I don't know where he went, guys. I have no idea. You don't track many. Come on, Tick. We've done road miles and haven't found the track. So, let's say we're going to ride a little bit farther. It's getting up later in the morning. And uh, then we'll just hop out and take a walk somewhere. Well, I'm going to hop out. Uh, I've done about road as much as I can ride them. I'm ready to take a walk or something somewhere. So I'm going to get my pack on and stuff. Get these dogs off the rig and make a big lap down in the uh, woods here below me. And hope to find a bear trap. Well, I'm walking down an old ridge. It's, I wouldn't call it thick, but it's got some thicker stuff on it here and there. Well, dogs are starting to trail just a little bit. I don't know, I ain't but a couple hundred yards from the road. I don't know if they'll figure it out or not. Hey, Uncle Joe. Oh, yeah. They're starting to trail a little bit. I don't know if they'll figure it out or not, but they're, it's usually, it's just ticking mini barking so far. All right, Tim, are they going down or what are they doing? Yes, sir. They're kind of, they're, they're kind of just going straight north, which is like towards you. All right, Tim, I went clean, turned around, just hitting back easy, but I keep my watch on them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely nothing to get excited about yet. I mean, they're just piddling around, but they are barking. Well, that's pretty good. At least we get the bark out of them. All right. I'm uh, getting around here. My uncle, one of my, uh, one of my dogs that I've been hunting for my buddy, he split off from my others, and uh, my uncle just seen the bear across the road. So. We'll run around here and pack some more on with it.
Alex, don't let me hit you. <laughs> We're trying to buy her. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got no brakes. <laughs> oh, I did. What happened? I didn't have no brakes. I thought I was gonna cream y'all. I was gonna take her in that ditch. <laughs> I had them on the floor and there was nothing there. I said, Becky, we were sitting there. Man, we go sit and crawl. The heart keeps coming. All of a sudden, the bear come. <laughs> oh. yeah, if we You're not coming on this front side. I don't need brakes on this side anyway. Okay. <laughs> what if I can just pinch it? Yeah, you can try. Let's see if I can see what they're doing. They should treat it something here in a minute, hopefully. Let's see, they're treed. Ah. It's a ways up there. They're they're over halfway. Well, I have a busted brake line. I've got dogs treed, and Uncle's going around to pick up a couple of my back dogs. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna see if I can't get this brake line at least stopped enough to get me by, and then head to this tree. So. Well, I got the leak. Uh, slowed down enough where I think I can, I think I can wiggle this truck on back around the road. So, I just have to be careful. But anyway, I got to get around to a different hollow and uh, figure out. My uncle Nim's coming back around. He caught my back dogs for me. I've got my brakes somewhat stopped up, um, and I got a little bit of pedal. I'm just running this thing in low range, so I'll be fine. Uncle's behind me. I'm just heading back around the road, trying to be somewhat careful because my brakes ain't working the greatest. And uh, head, and then we got, I ain't sure how far, it's probably a half a mile walk up a big old creek bed. Um, you got to pull, pull up the mountain a good ways. I ain't sure exactly how long it'll take us, but uh, basically we'll head in there and get the dogs off the tree. Figure I'll catch as much brake fluid as I can. And then that way, while I'm up there, then I can just kind of pour it back in once I get back from the tree. Almost three quarters of a mile we gotta go. So it's gonna take us a while. Yep, that's up pond. Not bad though, 300 yards. Here's Scroll. <laughs> well, we are almost to this tree. I think we got about 300 more yards to go. We gotta pull up a real steep part to get to him. It is steep, extreme steep.
bear come out and get these dogs and get out of here. A little bit. It ain't no what it is that goes underground. Yeah, I mean we ain't gonna go swimming or nothing in it, but But we are on the way back towards the truck. Oh, I know. We are on the way back to the truck and uh, had a pretty good walk up in here. Wasn't too bad. This hollow took us most, basically all the way. So it wasn't bad. We ain't got too terrible of a bad walk back out. About three quarters of a mile. But. And this will be basically the first good hunt that my young pups really settled down and treat good. It's a good thing. It's a hunt. Usually, you never, you never forget. My pups have been making all the races. I mean, even they made a really, really long race the other day. Those miles. What's that, ain't Becky? Uncle and Honor with me today. And uh, Tickle Pink, they walked all the way up in there with me. It was a long walk. But my pups have made all the races lately. Been, been at the trees. They said they don't leave the trees or anything, but this is the first tree that they really settled down and treed good. So, uh, Bear, which is a feist English mix. Um, he's getting ready to turn, he'll be turning seven months before too long. And then, Sally, my little, she looks like a plot. She's really a English with a plot way in her background, but whatever the case, she's been doing really good lately. And uh, she's getting ready to turn nine months. Uh, I have high hopes. It's always a good feeling getting the pups going. got the dogs put away and we're on the way back towards the house my brakes are still feeling a little weird I got the line pinched off so I think I'll be able to make back towards the house I'm just running in four low and I do got a little bit of a brake pedal so if I didn't I probably wouldn't take the chance if y'all want to see more hit the like hit the subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the next one